Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome back to the Retro Future. Today we're going to be taking a look at quite possibly one of the rarest devices that was ever made for the Nintendo Game Boy. This is an accessory that interfaces with a motorbike for the Game Boy. What? Before we go any further into this video, massive thank you to Snood for sponsoring this video. Please enjoy this ad I put together. Snood is a video game that started its journey back in 1996, when it was released on Mac OS. Since then, it has been released on MS-DOS, the Game Boy Advance, the Nintendo DS, and now available on iOS, Android, and Steam. All right, how you doing? I understand in a sponsored video people are going to be skeptical, but there's over 250 five-star reviews on the App Store. It's a free-to-play game, so there's not a lot to lose, and according to several articles, this was Steve Wozniak's favourite game. This game is very nostalgic feeling. There's a slight uneasy aesthetic, lots of bright colours, different text fonts and sizes, uncomfortable patterns, and a lot of creepy little snood dudes staring at you. I love it. My favourite game is Tetris, an easy pick up and play, low effort game to distract the mind. Snood gives me the exact same feeling. There's more to unlock if you fancy paying a few extra pounds or dollars, but there's a lot of fun to be had on the free version. If you fancy playing Snood, please check out my link in the description to download on whatever platform of your choice, and please let me know what you think of Snood. It's a really cool game, and I'm very grateful for them reaching out to support the channel. Thanks very much for listening to that and thanks to Snood for sponsoring the video. This is an accessory for your Game Boy that interfaces with a motorcycle. Specifically a moped, but uh, what's going on? <laughs> How did I get a hold of these? I, I hear you scream. Well, massive thank you to Bikers. Bikers is a local motorbike uh, shop. They've also got a workshop out the back. Uh, and this was just something that they had lying around from decades ago when it was actually used. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't really used very much anymore at all. This was a device from the early 2000s. Weirdly enough, it came out literally in the year 2000, or at least it does say that from the boxes. 2000 to 2004 is the kind of period this was being released. So this was actually kind of outdated from the start. The, the Game Boy Advance was, was on its way. So I don't really know what, what was going on, but maybe it took them a little while to actually write this. Uh, but this was literally the only way you could actually interface with that motorbike, which is why motorcycle dealerships had these lying around. They also had the Game Boy as well, but this is really weird. Let's just talk about it. So Aprilia, let's take a look at this one first. Uh, Aprilia had this technology that they called DiTech, which stands for Direct Injection Technology. Now I'm not gonna go into depths about how an engine works, but basically inside an engine, let's talk about a moped one, you have a carburetor or a carb as it's nicknamed. Now when you twist the throttle, there's a throttle cable that opens up a little door, let's call it, I don't know any of the terms for this, and then fuel spits through that door into the engine, explosions happen, pistons move, wheel turns, off you go. And uh, basically this Ditec re removed the carburetor and had what was called a throttle body, which is essentially an ECU controlled engine component that was controlled by a computer, which made your, your bike move. Controlled by a computer. Did I mention that? I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but the Ditec uh, interface, which is this thing, um, allowed you to interact with that con computer inside your motorbike, and you could get diagnostic reports, you could de-restrict it, which will give you a bit of bit of extra speed, like 15 miles an hour extra speed. Um, there, you could get data reports as to why it might not be working. Um, as I said, I don't have the moped to actually show you this, but we're gonna take a look at some footage in a minute that's uploaded to YouTube from decades ago. Um, and then the exact same thing with the Suzuki one here as well. Uh, it's Suzuki's Ditec equivalent, but I don't think they called it Ditec. I think that was a nickname Aprilia came up with, but this whole thing, the reason why Suzuki's got one and Aprilia's got one is because this whole thing was made, the entire system was made by a company called Orbital, uh, which you can see on the top of the actual um, the cartridge here. So that is the general idea of what these things are. Now, for some of you, you may notice that these look like VHS tapes, and that is because this uses the exact same box that a VHS comes in. Now, I reckon this entire thing has been done, and there's not a lot of information about it on online other than 
in Aprilia forums and stuff where people are asking if they have one because they want to tune their motorcycle and they can't do that without this. Um, but there's not a lot of information about it, but I have a feeling, it's the same with some of the other devices made for the Game Boy. This is a pocket sonar. Um, there's also an oscilloscope, uh, which my friend Andrew has. Um, but I think the reason that they, they did this was because the Game Boy was something that a lot of people had, or it could very easily get access to. So all they had to do was write a piece of software, whack it in a VHS box, and they've saved themselves a screen, a battery, a whole body and buttons and all the rest of it. That does sound like this isn't licensed by Nintendo, which it isn't. So, I mean, I don't know how they got away with this because Aprilia and Suzuki are pretty big companies. So how they actually did get away with this, I don't know. Um, however, I should mention these were only sold to dealers. They were not sold to the general public. Motorcycle dealers were the only people who had access to these, but they are really goddamn cool. So yeah, you can see that it's essentially just a cartridge with a big wire coming out of the top of it. And then you've got this connector here, which goes into the moped. Now it did come with some instructions on how to use the Aprilia one. So you remove a, um, a little sort of door from the front of the motorcycle, I'll find some footage, and uh, then you just plug it in and you're pretty much ready to go. So you can see with this poorly translated document, probably because Aprilia is Italian, I think, uh, you can see here it says, it is possible to get a better performance from the scooter through the modification listed below. Step one, you have to remove the washer, place between the variator pulley, goodness me, and uh, to obtain full power conditions, you have to use a Game Boy Color as a specific tool, and in brackets, you can buy it in an electronic or toy shop. So there we go, they're basically saying, you can go out and buy the hardest thing that we didn't want to make ourselves and just plug in our cheap cartridge that's in a VHS box. And uh, then there's the whole list of how to do it. Um, and you've even got you know, the action button, the D-pad, and it's quite funny. I do like this. I think it's very cool that they've done this. So let's take a look at some of the different things that you could do with it. So let's take a look at the Aprilia one because there's a lot more footage of that on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it's a basically a Game Boy Color cartridge. Uh, it doesn't work in a Game Boy, in a regular Game Boy. It's only Game Boy Color. Uh, and you can see here, it's a translucent sort of purple. Um, and the Suzuki one's exactly the same, just with a different sticker on it. Uh, but yeah, it comes with a little connector on the end. There's also another one which seems to have some sort of like a serial port, uh, which you can plug it into. But this is a one, two, three, four, five, six pin DIN connector. So they're really cutting corners on this entire thing. There's nothing really proprietary going on here. Um, to show you, I'm gonna plug it into a Game Boy Advance, which I've done a screen mod on, but these are the actual Game Boys that came from the workshop where I got this from, from Bikers. Uh, and they also come with the sweet scent of smoke and oil, <laughs> which is really cool. Although quite weird for me to be sniffing that. But yeah, there's nothing else in here. They're, they're not exactly special uh, Game Boys. They're just regular Game Boys. Although they are, I think, Italian, um, which is cool because that would obviously suggest... Or French, I think they might be because this one's in France. Um, and it was sold on the 10th of the 10th, 2001. So there we go. There's the Game Boys. But yeah, this thing still works without having the uh, motorbike or the scooter, moped, whatever you want to call it, plugged in. But you can see the Ditech interface version 2.5 dealer use only. Now you've got Italian, English, French, Dutch, and Spanish. Uh, but if we just use the English one, Go on, there we go, you've got the different functions. So I'll read them out to you. You've got engine parameters, injection parameters. There you go, that's what I'm talking about, the throttle body control. You've got engine history, which is pretty damn sweet. You've got diagnostics, you've got dealer test mode, and you've also got information, and that just gives you information about the actual cartridge and the software, not so much the motorbike. Um, but let me show you someone using this uh, and actually on their bike. So one guy has it plugged into the engine parameters, and he's doing different things with the motorbike, and you can see, I think, the RPM, um, as well as the voltage of the battery uh, inside it as well. And then you've also got... Um, the injection parameters, which shows how open the throttle is. Uh, and then I will try and find one with the engine history and diagnostics, but I don't know if I'm gonna find that or not. Uh, that is pretty much it, to be honest with you. That's what these things do. I think it's very damn cool that they've uh, that they've made this. I mean, it's 
pretty crazy to think that this was a thing that happened. I don't know why they didn't get into trouble. Maybe they did. So that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. I mean, speculation would suggest that the reason they used a Game Boy is because, as I said earlier, everyone could get access to one and they're nice and small. You know, the, the device itself is, is a really nice small little device which runs off batteries. Uh, you can see by this person who just cable tied it to his scooter uh, that it's obviously something that was quite a, you know, a portable size to have in a workshop and plug into something. This one's really scratched on the back, so that would suggest they're just sort of plugging it in and, you know, just checking on the bike and, yup, that looks fantastic. Um, and that is literally it, as opposed to having like a laptop or something, which the, the bike then has to come in, there has to be a, a laptop which plugs in, the laptop falls on the floor, explodes, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but that is it. That is basically the Suzuki and Aprilia Ditech interface. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I don't know why this exists, really, other than what I've said. Maybe you might shine some light in the comment section below, but there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. I certainly have. Thank you, bikers. Thank you, Snood. Thank you. Goodbye.